All right, scrappers, welcome back to the channel. You might have seen this thing in the last video, but uh, anyways, it's a uh, glass washer from a tavern that my golf partner owns for a little while yet. Ha! And uh, it's been shot and he's had it sitting outside his garage and uh, he brought it to uh, Brought it to me one day when we went golfing last week. So anyways, we'll, uh, we'll make a little video, see if we can uh, find out if these are any good or not. Looks like he was messing around in here with a switch. Maybe the switch was just bad, I don't know. But we get a cord out of it anyway, some little cord food for over here. Gonna have to empty that thing one of these days, it's getting full. She's getting full. <clears throat> um, the bottom, I think, is stainless steel. Yep, stainless steel because it sits in water all the time. This pipe, stainless steel. Looks like aluminum on the uh, motor. And uh, I don't know what's going to be the best way to uh, attack this baby. If we should. Uh, We should try to uh, get the motor off of it first. Looks like there was a set screw in there for the motor. One on each side, it looks like. But it's <laughs> it's not in there now. So is that gonna just pound off of there? Will, sh will that motor just pound off? There's gotta be something going down this tube and connecting this together, but I don't know, let's just Give it a couple of good wraps and see once. Doesn't seem to be moving at all. Alright, well I guess we gotta start by taking these out. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Take a look around at all the different videos we got. We're over a hundred videos. And subscribers are really starting to uh, to pop, which is a good thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that one there. Somebody was messing around and they they didn't uh, they didn't put a stainless steel nut on there. Because that one's all rusty. All right, now that's got to come out of there. All right. A couple more. See, these are stainless steel. Stainless steel, the amazing stainless steel. She don't rust, she don't bust, she don't tear at the seams. It's stainless steel. <laughs> all right, looks like we got all of those out that he didn't already have out. <clears throat> this looks like rubber on there. How are we gonna get that to come out of there now? Just kind of pull that thing. Oh, look at there. Don't you wish all of our, ooh, look at there. Look at them there bushings, huh? Copper bushings. Don't you wish everything fell apart this easy? Yeah, I do. Bet you these bolts here are stainless steel. Yeah, those are stainless. What are these things? Those are plastic. And that's not stainless. All right, <clears throat> so now I can see a shaft in here. Is that gonna have to, uh... how's that gonna come out of there? Is that just pounded on there? It's coming. Oh, there we go. Yes, look at all that nice stuff. I wonder how I'm gonna pound, be able to pound those out of there. Think those will pound out of there easy or is it gonna be a pain in the butt? Woo, 
Don't put your finger under there, Dennis. There, that, that came out pretty good. Ugh. And they are brass. And brass, I don't think they're copper, I think they're brass. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, look at there, more brass. They're like, they're like brass coins almost. There we go. And this here, stainless steel. So yeah. Good clean stainless steel. I don't know if I can get it in the stainless steel bucket. Might have to start a new stainless steel bucket. Things like that, they just are so bulky. So bulky and they take up so much darn room. Oh well. That'll go bouncing off the floor and scare the living crap out of me. Oh, hold on, I got a phone call here. Hello there. Yeah, now what are you doing today? Well, I'm just out here in the garage taking apart your glass washer. And I'm, yeah, yeah. And I'm filming a video with it. It's got some nice brass in it, and I haven't got to the motor yet, but a lot of nice stainless steel. And Good. Yeah. They're going to date you back quite well. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, so you'll be in the video because I'm talking to you and I'm filming at the same time. Oh boy. Oh boy, huh? Well, that's good. I'm glad that that's, that's a good way to tear that thing apart piece by piece. There's, uh, there's a lot of money in what people think is junk. That's a fact. Right, so, well, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go golfing. You're going to go golfing right now? Uh huh. Ah, yeah. Come pick me up. You want to come pick me up? Come pick me up. Well, if you want to, yeah, I'll, I'll bite. What the hell? I'm on the I'm on the road right now. In fact, I'm heading to your house. I'm um, I'm actually right by the courthouse. So I'm gonna turn off from here. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll finish up this video quick, and we'll uh, head her out to the golf course. All right. Bye now. Bye bye. All right, that was my golf partner who gave me this thing, calling in, wants to drag me away from my work again to go golfing. Look, there's more of them brass things. We gotta get them babies out of there quick. He's coming to get me for golf. We're gonna go chase the little white ball around. Yeah, chase the little white ball. Oh, no, it's got these little feets on there. It's got little feets. Are we gonna be able to get them off or? Oh, they're coming apart. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, golfing. It's so much fun, but it, it is a waste of time. And you, you have to like, uh, you have to like pay to waste your time. That's the funny thing about that sport. Bad enough you're wasting time, but you're also gotta pay for it. Uh, hopefully I'll get get this done fast enough so I can uh, I can at least go up and put some shorts on and stuff because it did, actually did warm up pretty good today. It was most of the day it was in the 60s, but uh, yeah. All right, some more stainless, some more stainless steel. All right, now what are we gonna do with this motor? 
We gotta take these off of here. Is that gonna fit on her? Oh yeah, that fits. Let's put that in this thing quick. She's spinning like, like a top. It's kind of like that song, you know. You know that song, Fat Bottom Girls Make the World Go Round? If that song was true, Oshkosh should be spinning like a top. Ugh. Come on, get out of there. What do you think? Take a guess, let me know in the comments. Is this thing gonna have a copper winding motor in here? Or is it gonna be aluminum? I'm thinking copper because aluminum doesn't always do so well around moist areas. And sitting above a sink full of dishes is not a real dry situation. All right, come on, one more here, one more. Come on, get out of there. There we go, I bet you this. Where'd Sticky go? Here he is, Sticky. Okay, that's stainless steel. I don't know what the heck that is. So that we'll have to figure out how to get out of there. That, see, that's rubberized there. Wonder how that comes off. Come on. What are you doing in there? Come on. Oh, there we go. I want to say that whole thing's going to be stainless. Woo, woo, that's sticking. No sticky. No sticky at all. More stainless. All right, I think we're ready to hit over the hammer and open this baby up. Oh, I bet you we got to take this switch out of here quick. Get the switch out of there, Dennis. The whole thing's turning, for God's sakes. The whole thing's a turning. Come on, what do you think? Copper or aluminum? Let me know in the comments. Hey, and you know what I, you could also do? You could hit that thumbs up button, that'd be cool. Everybody says that really helps. I always hit them, every time I watch a video I hit the thumbs up. Hope you guys all will too. All right, we got a switch. Need a switch for something? All right, is this gonna pound apart here? What is this? What's that doing there? All right. Come on, baby. Which way are you going to come apart? There we go. There's that part. There's this part. Boy, look at all that. It's not stainless there. I guess you probably don't even care to watch me. Get them bearings and stuff out of there so it's clean cast. And get that board out of there. That thing is really bad. But you wanna see if this thing is copper, right? Let's do that. Here's our little, little file. Got two different colors, so I got a funny feeling it might be half copper and half aluminum.
Well, that appears to be copper there. And that's aluminum. So we got half and half, half copper, half aluminum. So, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Now you just tell me, how in God's good, on God's green earth did we get corn inside this motor? I mean, really, seriously? How did we get corn in there? And man, if you stuck with this crazy old man till this part of the video, be sure to watch another video that's on screen now.